It's a psychological scare. It's a, it's a nasty scare. It's not a physical scare, you know. And I think that you never know what shape he's going to come in. What's happening to him? He's stuck in a nightmare. He's too wasted. It's Freddy. In the other films, they've they've vainly tried to kill him um, on his territory, you know. And basically, if you kill Freddy in a dream, it's good enough to like be the end of that picture. But all it takes is another person to dream him up, and he's reinvented. Uh, no honey for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's with kids today, huh? No respect. And we tell some of the Freddy backstory, which I think people have always really wanted to know about. We tell about him as a kid. And as a teenager. You've been away since the day I took you in. Alice Cooper plays, it's kind of typecasting, plays Freddy's abusive stepfather, so it kind of gives you a clue about how he got to be that way in the first place. Now it's time to take your medicine. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think his, uh, he's very uh, unpredictable, and he has absolutely no qualms about it. I mean, anybody can be a victim. You want to know the secret of pain? Just stop feeling it. You can start using it. He has no boundaries, you know, as far as uh, his victims go. And I think that that's a, a nice trait for anyone. No screaming while the bus is in motion! And we have Roseanne Barr and Tom Arnold, who play two of the adults in Springwood who've lost their minds because they don't have any children and they desperately want children. What you do, Mickey? Ethel! I want my children back! Johnny Depp has a, has a funny cameo as uh, kind of spoofing um, a, a pop cultural phenomenon. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Questions? Yeah! What do you want? Looks like a frying pan and some eggs to me. You see there are reasons for the things he does, and um, it's through those reasons that you discover the way to, to finally kill him. We have to hit him with everything we've got. Oh boy, I'm quaking in my boots. I'm really scared of these clowns. <laughs> In this one, they finally figure out really the simplest solution, and it was kind of hinted at in the first film, but it finally, you know, definitively takes care of them. So what's the plan, Doc? Thanks. You can't get him in the dream, but if this can come out, he can come out. So this time they're killing me for good, huh? Oh, what a pity. I had so much more to give. I'd like to stick around a little longer. As far as my creative eye can see into the future right now, we're putting Freddy to rest and uh, we're going to bury the old coot. Freddy's dead. Here lies Freddy, we hope. He's a tortured individual. So I look at him. I got to kill Freddy. That's totally cool. Here lies Freddy Krueger, misunderstood American hero. Rest in peace. Freddy's dead. <laughs> you know what now gives an excuse me, Hamlet said? To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance, to dream! <laughs>
Sweet dreams! <laughs>